Hello friends, welcome to Lug Life, and welcome to Ketchikan, Alaska. A place where you can't always say this, but the sun is shining. We are sitting here in the Vines Wine Bar. Sherry's got her dragon earrings on today, and she's got her cup of coffee. We are looking outside. We're gonna be getting off the ship here in just a couple of minutes. You can see the windows kind of dirty, but look at that, blue, Ketchikan skies. Now we've got a few things planned today. We're gonna go on a trolley tour. We're gonna go to the Saxman Totem Village. We're gonna explore Creek Street. We're gonna show you some of our favorite things in Ketchikan, including a store that I actually can see right over there. It's owned by our friends Spring and Jeremy Berry. The store is called Woodlands. In our opinion, it is one of the very best stores in all of Alaska. Uh, their apparel and stuff is not only designed here in Ketchikan, it's printed here in Ketchikan. They have some really amazing Alaskan items. Uh, and we're just excited to get off the ship with our friends Sarah and Auburn and explore Ketchikan with you today. All right, we're getting off in Ketchikan and look at this. We are officially off the ship. And it wouldn't be a visit to Ketchikan without seeing the Welcome to Alaska's First City sign. Uh, Ketchikan is called Alaska's First City because it is the first city you come to when you enter Alaska uh, via cruise ship. Like when you come up from Seattle or Vancouver, Catch your cans while you come to first. Now the trolley tour we're going on today is through a company called Northern Tours here in Ketchikan. Um, we actually don't have a ton of time here. Our ship got in about 6 a.m. I think we have to be all aboard. Oh look, there's our ship. Uh, I think we have to be all aboard about 2 or 2.30. And so not a ton of time, but we wanted something that allowed us to see a lot of different things. And the team at Northern Tours absolutely hooked us up, uh, all four of us on the trolley. And we're gonna get to see some of the area. We're gonna get to go to, I think, um, Herring Cove, maybe it's called, the Saxman Totem Village, which is the world's largest collection of original totems, I believe, as well as just exploring a little bit more of Ketchikan. Uh, the trolley is actually right up there. I can see it now. That is going to be our ride for today. You can see Sherry over there taking photos of the ship, always with camera in hand. So the trolley is pretty cool. You can see it's got a bunch of enclosed seats here in the middle that face forward. And they have seats on each side, up there, and in the back as well. I have blankets in the back, if anybody needs a blanket. Head all aboard! Here we go. Anybody know what Ketchikan means? Ketchikan! It means small Alaskan city with a lot of jewelry stores. <laughs> anybody seen that show, Deadliest Catch? Oh yeah. One of their boats, the Time Bandit, will dock straight out in front of us every now and then. Oh, there's another cruise ship coming in. Look at that. Catch a can means thundering wings of an eagle. Oh, you can see we actually have a Viking ship coming in to catch a can. Whenever we're next to the water, which will be the entire tour, we're keeping our eye open for whales. Here we are at Ward Cove. Uh, if you remember, last year we actually went over there and toured the whole area. Um, tide is low right now. You can see creek pretty low. It actually will fill all in during high tide. Uh, they have seals that come up here. Obviously bear that come to f uh, feed on the fish. But right now, because the tide's low, there's no bears down here. However, he said that they have seen bears uh, almost every day in this area. So that's kind of what we're down here just uh, looking for. Sherry, mm -hmm. uh, so you're sitting up front with Sarah and Auburn. Yep. You guys having fun? The tour guide is what makes this so far. He's great. He is so funny. Yeah. Uh, lots of Alaska information. Uh huh. Um, and also, you are the two. You're the conductor. Is that what it is? Yes. He appointed you conductor. Yes. Must Which be just that. means that I have to like take the thing off the door and open it and put the stool down. It's a lot of responsibility, Sherry. It's a lot of responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> also, I cannot believe this weather. Like it is sunny and beautiful. Could not ask for better weather. Our time here is about up. We've seen zero bears. Uh, we saw a couple eagles, and more importantly, you guys, there's like a dog. Now, I know it's so dumb, but you guys know my love for dogs. I got to pet him. He like came over to me. So, I would say this has been a success. I think next we're going to the um, Totem Park, right? I think so. It is the thing I'm most excited about on this trolley tour, because we have not been there. Right. And I love totems. Yeah. So, very excited to see it. He brought the trolley back down here for us, so we're getting on and heading off to our next stop. Well, we had a little bit of extra time, so he brought us to a waterfall. You can see it all up there. I'll get a better view here in a minute, but I want to try to walk down here. You can see everyone else in our group kind of over there. 
I just sort of off, kind of doing my own thing. Look at how cool this is. Also, can you imagine how cold the water is? Oh, I love it. You can see another bus showed up here, so we are going to uh, head out away from the waterfall. I get a nice, beautiful day like this. It's green, gorgeous, and you think, wow, I'd love to live here. What you don't see is the other 240 days, it's raining sideways at 30 miles per hour. There's, there's a reason it's green. Okay, so we are here in the Saxman Totem Park, which is in the Tongass National Forest. Kind of walking in now, you can see lots of skunk cabbage here, lots of moss all along the floor. Giant like tree trunk up there. So this is a piece of wood that was actually just brought in the other day, he said. Uh, local carver Nathan Jackson chose this, and you can see here, on the end, it says NJ. Maybe you can see that says NJ. And that will uh, eventually become a carving. It's pretty amazing. 1892. So we're kind of looking into the carving area right now. You can see working on a totem right there. So amazing. And then right outside here, we actually have a totem down here. Here's the sign for Saxman, telling a little bit about the legend. And you can see all of the different totems around. And then there's more up there. We're gonna get to go explore in a minute. So we have about 15 minutes now to just kind of explore the area. You can see the totems here. The clan house, absolutely amazing. All of the artwork. It's just so beautiful. So he took some time and kind of described what different things among the totems meant. And I thought it was really interesting. He said when you see a totem that then has like a blank space, whatever it is at the top would be of like extreme importance. And different totems have different meanings. So they have like um, kind of like tribute totems. They have totems that might tell uh, a story or a legend. And then they also have like uh, ridicule or shame totems. And this one is an example of that. So on top, it's kind of right in the sun, so you can't really see it, there you go, is actually William Seward, the guy who purchased Alaska. Apparently what happened is that he came to Alaska um, after the purchase to kind of see what, <laughs> what he had bought and uh, a lot of the natives through potlatch. I think he said four different groups through potlatch ceremonies while he was here. Um, and he basically like stood them up, I believe, like took their gifts and left. Um, and so this is kind of a ridicule or a shame totem for the way that he treated the locals when he was here. And you can see the whole road leading up here to the Saxman Totem Village, just totems lining the entire way. He said there was another one that last year during a storm, I believe, uh, blew over, fell over and broke. What do you think of the Totem Village? Um, I think it's really cool, and I love all the different stories. I love that what he. They all mean. I love that he took time and kind of explained a bunch of them to us, and even talked about the different, different kinds of totems, what some of them would mean or symbolize. Yep. Um, it's easy to look at them and just like see the beauty and the craftsmanship, but it takes it to a whole other level when you start to understand the story and the reason behind them. Right. Yep. Yeah, this was a really, really great stop. You can see lots of people here. It seems like. There are several tours that come here. So there's a number of people. And just, you know, right across the street, they have what's called like the village store. And so they had, you know, shirts, apparel, hats, a little bit of snacks, that kind of stuff. But I think our time here at the village is done. So we're gonna walk back over to the trolley. Walking back by the carving room and the smell of the cedar is so amazing. It's, it smells just so good. Japan holds two Guinness World Book records. One is for the tunnel, only tunnel on the island, built 1954. It's the only tunnel in the world you can drive through, around, above, and go below it by boats. And it has the largest parade of people wearing rain boots. The kids' tennis shoe here is the rain boots. That's birth one, it's a one minute walk. It's a crazy 
Creek Street. Let's see if Dolly's out here. We didn't see Dolly, did we? Ringing the bell, ringing the bell. Just like that, our trolley tour is over. You can see we got a couple more cruise ships in port here since we left. The Viking ship right here, and then we got a Holland America ship down there. There's the trolley we were just on. And I think we're gonna go find a distillery, and uh, we're gonna go to Woodlands before we leave. Uh, the wind has picked up though. Our next stop here is the Uncharted Alaska Distillery. They have gin. They have vodka. You can see we've got some of our drinks over here. And they have what any good brewery or distillery has. They've got merch. Oh, including flasks. I love that. I really like this sign when you first walk in. It's kind of the old, I don't even know what you'd call that. It's the, where you'd like push the numbers onto the felt board. You can see their different drinks up here. I love that they have their mixologist names. I think that is super cool. All right, so I have the Bloody Mary here, but it's made with gin. And I've got to say, I was a little skeptical. It's really, really good. I don't know what the mix is they use, but it's perfect. She said it's from Oregon. Oh. <laughs> Maybe the best sign in all of Ketchikan. Chico's Mexican Restaurant. The, the best pizza in town. <laughs> uh, now we're heading to our friend Spring and Jeremy's shop, Woodlands. Ah, our favorite place, probably in all of Southeast Alaska, to buy souvenirs, to buy gifts, to bring home. Cannot wait to see them, and cannot wait to see the store. It is probably, oh, I don't know, a six or seven minute walk to their store. They're located right by Birth 3, and uh, yeah, let's enjoy the sunshine and keep walking. There's a great shot of our ship, the Grand Princess, right over there across, and so where we are going, is straight through this tunnel. Sherry does not like it when we're walking through a tunnel and I do something like this. Woo! Woo! Sherry! Woo! <laughs> so we're passing a store called Burger Queen and Sherry pointed this out. Look at the like carved burger. That's so fun. And then she's pointing out something else. Oh, Midnight Sun Brewing. That's one of our brewed here in Ketchikan, but it's actually from Anchorage. That's one of our local beers in Anchorage. We're getting close. This building right up here with like the copper roof and the copper awning is where Woodlands is. Look at how sweet that Volkswagen bug is. And then the Grand Princess, our ship docked right there at birth three here in Ketchikan. You guys, this is the best. A beautiful day in a beautiful city. The weather's amazing with some of my favorite people in the entire world. I just, I'm just happy. This means so much to me to be here at Woodlands, my favorite store in all of Alaska. So this is their newest design. I definitely got one of those. I think it's so cool. The Sasquatch design is one of my favorites. Uh, I'm also buying one of those in like the charcoal color. Super cool. Uh, and their, their shirts are very soft. And I might've said this, like all of their shirts are Design Spring does all of the designing here. Her and Jeremy do all of the printing of their shirts in Ketchikan as well. So this is like, when you support Woodlands, you really do support a shop that exists right here in the Ketchikan community, which I just think, I just think it's so cool. Actually, you know what? I think I want that as well. We just left Woodlands. We have an entire bag of stuff. Um, there comes a point in time when it's like, what more can we possibly say? If you haven't gone there, you need to. Yeah, if you're visiting you're If you're visiting Alaska on a cruise and you're coming to Ketchikan, I mean this when I say this. Like we live here, uh, we have shopped and visited lots of stores around the entire state. Yep. That is our favorite. Best. If we were to pick one store in all of Alaska to support and spend our money at, that's it. Okay. They are genuinely good people. Yes. They are some of the best designers and artists and creatives in the Hands state. Down. Their products are so good. They live here in the community. They love this community. Like everything that you spend there goes to stay here and support them in the community. Yes. I just, oh, they're amazing. Yes. So, Designed and printed here in Alaska. It's so cool. Yes. And now we're making our way back to our cruise ship. And I think it leaves in like an hour. An hour is that right? So we're not yet pier runners, <laughs> but we're definitely closer 
than we expected. I've never seen this before. They have like little stained glass along the pier here. It's so pretty. It really is pretty. Walking back here on the ship, another look here at Ketchikan on this beautiful day. Like it does not get much nicer yeah. than this. Not a cloud in the sky right now. And it's cold. yeah, it's not too cold. It's a little bit windy. windy. You're glad that you have your wind jacket. Um, I was fine on a t-shirt, but I'm normally fine in a t-shirt. <laughs> it is funny, we were talking about that earlier, how um, people have like winter, winter parkas on. Passing I'm gloves. passing gloves. And, <laughs> and you just have like a... I'm comfortable in my winter shirt. And I'm in a t-shirt. Yeah. Just like that, back on the Grand Princess. I think we're gonna go drop our stuff off in our room, maybe grab something to eat and just uh, relax. I don't think we have any more plans the whole rest of the day, do we? That's kind of nice. We just dropped everything off in our stateroom. I changed, put on one of the new shirts I bought at Woodlands. Uh, now we're gonna go get some food because you're hungry. I haven't eaten anything yet today. Foolish. So, let's go. <laughs> so we are at Alfredo's for lunch and we have a table, right? on the water, which is pretty cool. We also have a good view because uh, here in about half an hour, the ship will be pulling away. So if we have any pier runners, <laughs> you can watch it happen as we eat lunch. Pizzas are here. Uh, we got both of these yesterday. Uh, Sherry got the princess pizza, which is what now? Um, like, uh, prosciutto? Prosciutto and like Parmesan. And tomatoes? Yep. And mine, I don't remember what mine was called. It's got artichokes, it's got, I think, ham, olives, mushrooms, it's, yeah, it's really good. Well, my gosh, I would call that a success. We finished both of our pizzas, and uh, we're gonna give up this amazing table view so somebody else can have it before our ship pulls out. We have left catch can behind, but I wanted to show you guys, because right out here, you'll see kind of the, the butt end of an NCL ship. Uh, NCL, Norwegian docks out here at, I think it's called Ward Cove. It is a kind of a ways away from downtown Ketchikan, and then they have buses that go in. What we've heard is that they're trying to develop the whole Ward Cove area with shopping and all that stuff, and I get that that's convenient for them, but I kind of feel like that's a huge loss for people who want to experience and see downtown Ketchikan. Um, so just know if you're on NCL, you're probably docking a little ways outside of town. But look at how beautiful this is as we sail away. Also, I wanna point out that Auburn and Sherry and Sarah are being such a huge pain in my butt. They are laughing and mocking me. So, oh my gosh. It's a good thing they're all like family to me. Well, we all decided to skip dinner tonight and just, uh, we've been having so much fun hanging out, talking and dancing, as you can see, <laughs> that we just uh, we just loved each other's company. We decided not to break up and go to dinner, so we ordered some food. We've got some street tacos, and we've got some sushi. And yeah, these both look really good. So we just stepped outside, and wanna show you how beautiful it is with the sunset over there. Oh, this is amazing, and just so you know, if you're wondering, Sunset, 9, 11 p.m. But it is still gonna be light for, uh, gosh, a number of hours. We are cruising from Ketchikan to Juneau, and I will say, this is a great place to be looking for whales. Between Ketchikan and Juneau, and the water is actually not that choppy, so tonight's a good night to look for that. Um, yeah, this is, this is beautiful. Sherry Beth, you're a little bit cold. Um, I am not cold, but I don't think I ever really am. <laughs> as you saw, it's an absolutely beautiful night here on the Grand Princess. Uh, again, as I mentioned, we spent the vast majority... Sorry. Anytime you see like a little movement in the water, it's like, what is that? What is that? Uh, we spent the majority of today after we got back on the ship with Sarah and Auburn hanging out um, literally for literally for hours. Yeah. Like hours and hours. Like six hours. Six, six was it? Seven. Seven hours we sat with them just talking and laughing. Uh, talked to my mom on the phone, which was super nice. Auburn was texting with my mom for a while, which was hilarious. Um, just A plus relaxing cruise day, amazing. We came here to the back of the ship because this is just one of the coolest views. Look at that, oh my gosh, it is, it's too cold for the pool. Well, here's the thing, 
It's probably not too cold for me. I'd be the only one in the pool though. But look how beautiful. Oh, this is. Well, if you've been watching our Alaska cruise series, you know that um, <laughs> we have a tradition. It's to end every day with a duck fart. Yes. So if you don't know a duck fart, I may have shared this in a previous video, is uh, a, a drink, a shot invented in Alaska. Right. And it is whiskey, Bailey's Kahlua, right? Whiskey, Irish cream, Kahlua, coffee liqueur. Um, and it's supposed to be layered just like this. We have gotten lots of different versions of them around the ship. Louie, here at the Calypso Bar, makes the best one we've had on the ship. New favorite bartender. Yes, instantly. Instantly. He, he knew what to do. So, Sherry <laughs> Beth, um, I've already had mine. He did make them very large. He did an entire shot each. Very large. Instead of one shot of yep. three. So, here we go. Let's see, Sherry. Here we go. Amazing. Look at that. Finished. <laughs> so, we're back in our stateroom. It is the end of the day. Uh, at least for Sherry, she's gonna go to sleep. I think I'm actually gonna go back out. Um, I haven't done any late night stuff. I was hoping there was karaoke tonight. There's no karaoke tonight. I did see some sort of like Michael Jackson thing. I might go to that. Mm -hmm. um, there is some music around, like live music. So I might just go sit down and listen to live music. We did that last night. We did that last night. It was so much fun. Mm -hmm. um, it's also just so beautiful outside. I kind of want to just, just go sit somewhere and just watch look at the ocean kind of it's so peaceful and so nice yeah. when we were just out at the back of the ship uh sort of looking out the back i was just like ah this is nice and they have chairs i know okay, okay so that was catch can first of all my arm's getting tired so i have to rest on something <laughs> uh sherry let's talk about the trolley tour yes what'd you think it was a ton of fun mm -hmm. um spring actually texted me and she was like okay but like for real like what did you think and i said eight and a half out of ten yeah i give it a really high score um, I, I think that it was, it was fun. Like the driver was funny and he oh. had all kinds of like rando facts and like any kind of lull. He was like, okay, trivia. And he would just like ask us questions that, of things that he had already talked about to see if we were listening. Um, he, and he made the tour. He did. He was fantastic. And I really liked that like all the seats, at least the ones that I was sitting in were like outward facing. Yes. Um, so I wasn't like, you know, looking to my right or left or whatever. I was just like looking straight out. Mm -hmm. um, that was really cool. I, I really enjoyed it. And I think that it, it took us like interesting places. So I, I liked it. I, the thing that I liked about it is that because our time in Ketchikan was limited, this is the shortest time we have in any port. Mm -hmm. um, it can be like, you know, do you choose one thing to do? What do you do? I love that we got to experience multiple things in kind of a short period of time. Yeah. The waterfall, the totem village. Uh, mm -hmm. Obviously, we didn't see any bears or wildlife down at the cove, but we got to go to there. Um, yeah. And then kind of the drive even through town, seeing Creek Street. Mm -hmm. um, and so I just, that's what I liked. I liked how much got fit into a short time. So it felt like you could utilize your short time catch can as best as possible. Yeah, I think that the tour itself was... About two and a half hours long. Yeah, about two and a half hours long. Mm -hmm. And he did tack on an extra 15 minutes to go to the waterfall because yeah. he was like, he asked, he was like, does anybody have to be somewhere at any certain time? He asked everybody. Mm -hmm. And everybody was like, not really. And he was like, okay, so it's okay if we add on like an extra 15 minutes to go to this waterfall. And everybody was like, yep, sure. Yeah, that wasn't even supposed to be part of the tour. Right. So um, he went out of the way to do that, which was great. But I yeah. did also appreciate that he asked. You know, it was just like, okay, well, mm -hmm. we've got a little extra time that we could kill since we're not going to stand and look for wildlife that aren't showing up so yeah we could see, we go see this waterfall and um i kind of i appreciated that that he was able to like pivot and just you know not like okay well there's no wildlife so i guess we'll just go back now yeah like, nope it was, this is all that we do <laughs> like i got out on something else so yeah it was, was i really i really liked it i thought so too uh then we got to walk through town got to go to a the distillery was amazing yes the distillery was uh, in the things we did yeah. in town, like the story was spectacular. It was so good. Of course, Woodlands like would take Woodlands. our money. I'm <laughs> wearing my shirt. Like, just, <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, and then back on the ship again, sat and talked with friends. It was. Yeah. Today was such a great, just like relaxing cruise day. Yeah, and I mean, honestly, like I have a headache right now because I, I'm laughing. Like my headaches from laughing. We laughed for so long. You guys. <laughs> It was just so much fun. So um, I'm going to bed because my head is killing me because honestly, I was laughing. 
Yeah, it was an amazing so day. Much. <laughs> um, tomorrow we are in Juno. We have a full day in Juno planned. Yeah. We have it. We're picking up a car, a Turo, right by the cruise ship. Mm -hmm. And then, um, so we've been to Juno several times. We've actually been to Juno with Auburn a couple of times. Mm -hmm. Sarah's never been. And there are some things in Juno. Um, the Shrine of St. Therese we're going to. Yeah. Uh, the Nugget Falls out of Mendenhall Glacier we're going to. There's mm -hmm. a couple breweries we're going to. Seeing some of the things around the city. And I... I just remember going to the Shrine of St. Therese. First of all, it's one of our favorite places in Alaska. Mm -hmm. uh, after we met Auburn and Sarah, we went there with Auburn. And one of my thoughts was, and I actually remember saying this as we were leaving, that it is a life goal of mine to be able to experience that place with Sarah. Um, and we're going to tomorrow. In 24 hours, <laughs> we're going to. So friends, we're gonna bring you along for Juno mm -hmm. tomorrow. Sherry's going to bed. I'm gonna go explore the ship. Yeah. Who knows, maybe I'll just end up at the International Cafe eating cookies till 3 a.m. <laughs> Doesn't sound like the worst. You guys, we love you so very much. Thanks for hanging out. Also, I do want to say we have met way more of you, Leg Life viewers, on this cruise than I expected. Yeah. And so to everybody who said hi, who stopped us, who's talked to us, who we've had great conversations with, thank you. Yeah. Uh, we love you. Friends, good night. We'll see you tomorrow on the next Leg Life Alaska Cruise Vlog.